let's go to New York. We've got Yoel, he, him, uh, says that he believes in a different God. Well, Yoel, you're talking with SR and Dave Warnock. Uh, what kind of God do you believe in? Um, yeah, basically, uh, hello first. Um, okay. Basically, um, um, I'm actually referring to the yeah the God of the Bible and the God of the, actually Judaism and many other religions. But there's a totally different interpre interpretation that um, I've seen a lot and different people, um, which makes it it's like a totally different God. So it's, it's totally it's, it's actually a totally different God. And okay. Re to many real, real quick, you Real quick, I think we can. I think we can kind of streamline this a little. So I think you just tell us okay. kind of what what version of so God you believe in, and then describe just, the God you believe in. Yeah, and then just tell us why I, that I, God is what you believe in. Pretty simple. I I will first actually give uh, just go through the basic God that a lot of people believe in and people don't believe in, and and no, we know sense. we know what that God looks like. Let's yeah. cut to the chase. We don't need a history of God here. Yeah. Just tell us the God you believe in, define that God for so, us, and then tell us why you believe in well, that God. Right. Um, so let's go, let's, let's, let's put it that way. You ever heard about Spin the God of Spinoza? Sure. Does that make sense to you? Does it make uh, sense to you? The God of Spinoza? I mean, Spinoza's like, God, like, like the universe everyone. itself yeah. is God, like it's this God. vague yeah. and yeah. ambiguous, like worthless concept that doesn't actually explain or or clarify mm -hmm. anything. So that's why that one doesn't exist. Yeah. That's the reason why it looks like it doesn't explain anything. And um, um, it's basically it because like... basically what most people refer to is like, I would call it like a Superman type of God. It, God has to be a conscious. God has to be some, someone with thoughts and feelings. So it doesn't make okay. sense to say that the universe is is like is like very super is powerful. Is like uh, we can't understand him because he's some somewhere some. some is that uh, like the God a, you believe in? Version. Is is Yoel? Tell us that's not the God. what God so you right? believe in. Define the God you believe okay. in. Right. So it's basically it's a very deep concept and. And just like I just heard you explain to someone how much you have to um, take the time to actually digest whatever they believe, it, it's, it's like an, a complete rewrite of everything you know about the, the universe type of thing. But so basically the idea of God is, is, is you can remove the conscious part. We can, we can, we can agree or disagree. We will talk, come back later about if you have, it has to be conscious. But the idea of God is actually the ultimate the ultimate reality, the ultimate decider. So let's say a question like, um, okay, how on. does he allow... I, I, I think we can just stop right there. Honestly, Yol, I think yeah. we can just stop right this there. It's getting okay? weird. And so. here's, here's why we can stop that, is because we're in the same place where I just cut you off at the knees a couple minutes ago when you said, hey, you know Spinoza's God? And my response was, yeah, it's essentially somebody using a label in place of actually trying to clarify or explain anything. And we have other labels that already do that way better. If what you're saying God is at the end of the day is just absolutely equivalent, no difference whatsoever from whatever the hell is actually really going on in reality. That's cool, man, but that's called reality. And attempting to try to bring God into that equation is not only worthless, but harmful because now we are less clear about what the hell is going on. So I'm going to unmute you here in just a moment. I'm going to get you back in. And I, I, I just want to know if what you're saying when you say God is just really equivalent to reality. reality. Yeah. But it's similar, but much more. Okay, so what it so addition saying, does yeah. your God have that reality doesn't? If you're saying this thing is not conscious, it's not a conscious agent, not necessarily interacting in the world around it, it sounds like your definition is essentially worthless and po potentially even worse than that. Yeah. Now, basically is that the, the God, we can discuss if it's conscious or not. But well, what do you think it is? Do you it, think it's conscious? 
It's above consciousness. Our consciousness is actually. I don't know what that means. What is above what, consciousness? What the hell, yo? What is above consciousness? Yeah. Define Howard, that. Yeah. Please. And you let me, like, uh, finish what I'm saying? What well, is. No, I'm not. We're not going to let you babble right. about stuff that makes right. no sense. What right. is above okay. consciousness? Yeah. You decided that consciousness is the ultimate thing. If there is a God, you must. I didn't decide no, that. No, no, I'm saying I, I can I understand consciousness. We yeah. are conscious. Yeah. What is above conscious, consciousness? Yeah. Conscious is a tool to understand the world or to make. Okay. Success. What is above that? Yeah. I don't even think that's a great explanation reality for consciousness. Is actually above that object reality. Our consciousness. Reality our only consciousness. Tools to consciousness yeah. helps us be aware of what's real. Right. I'm going to break this down because you're talking nonsense shit. Yeah. You're just babbling words that I don't even think you have a clue what they mean. What is above consciousness? And don't say reality. Yeah. Because that makes no why sense. Is it, we haven't. Why not? Just go, go, go and explain why it doesn't There's not. no clarification. There is no explanation. You have done absolutely nothing Yo, how does here, your God Yo. help you? What does your right. God do for you? Yo, what does your God do for you? Why do you worship this God, whatever it is? You, you didn't let me explain what I'm trying no, to No, I'm not going to let you it, babble this nonsense. We don't yeah. have the time so, so for it, this. I don't have the I patience explain for something this. If you don't allow what? me, so then that's Yo, hang on, Yo, hang on, Yoel, you're muted. Mute him. Yo, yeah. what does your God do for you, and why do you worship this God? Because if you don't worship this God, it's not a fucking God. Right. Okay. It's gonna... just an it's an abstract thought. It's beyond consciousness. It's beyond reality. You don't have a fucking clue what these things mean. You can't define them for us. We ask you simple questions. You can't give us a simple answer. You just babble on more nonsense. You have no idea what you believe or why you believe it, and yet you're calling into this show to try to convince us of it. Okay, now talk. Unfortunately, he just dropped, Dave. Good. That's okay. Look. God, I've got no fucking patience for that shit. I, I totally understand. And I, I'm in the same boat. And the reason that I'm I'm in the same boat on that, and, and this is really just for anybody else out there who, you know, is a believer and, and wants to call in, um, please, please understand that Dave and I are not children. This is not the first time we have ever come across these concepts, okay? And yes, sometimes we'll ask, hey, that's a big word. Can you break that down a little bit for us? You know, and they just um, give us more big words that they don't right. have any clue what they mean. Right. I'm if, sorry. I try to stay calm and gentle on this show. I'm an old, tired man. But when people start babbling this nonsense uh -huh. that has no basis in anything uh -huh. that we can make sense of, that that helps no one in the world, it it's not a concept that's useful or right. coherent. They're just babbling nonsense yeah probably because they just want to hear themselves talk on a youtube show yeah and and, and if that's honest. all you got don't waste your time uh -huh. our time or uh -huh. our viewers time because this this show has a limited time frame and we're running short on that now right. and we're not going to let you call in and talk that bullshit right and call in with with your definition of your god and why you believe in it something that's concrete something that we can wrap our head around something that we can actually have a conversation about. Yoel, you don't know what you're talking about, and you don't know what you believe in, and you don't know why. So you just wasted all of our time yeah. and made me mad. And with so, so many incredibly <laughs> important things happening on a daily basis, we're watching as individuals' lives are on the line on a daily basis in, in the United States and, and other places in the world right now. You know, the, the people in Iran don't have fucking time for this ambiguous, worthless, nonsensical God, right? It's just drivel. You know? It's just like, verbal drivel. 